In this video, let us see how to convert your Figma design into an HTML CSS for free. Here you can see this is the design that we're gonna convert. And after the conversion, we got the our code here. You can see that the code for the Figma design. Let me open up the index file. Here you can see when we open up the website, the website and the Figma design are both identical. You can see the design are both identical. So let us see how to perform this Figma to HTML conversion for free. Let's get started. This is the design that we're gonna use for the Figma to HTML conversion, you can see that. So let me preview this prototype now. You can see that this is the login page. When we click on the sign up button, it will go to the sign up page. And again, if we click on the login, it will again come to the login page. And if we click on the forward password, it will go to the forward password. So these are the three pages that we have in this Figma design that we will convert it to the HTML CSS code. To convert this uh, Figma to the HTML CSS code, we need a plugin called the Teleport HQ. So before we start the conversion process, make sure you select the elements within the frame and group all the elements. So let me group the elements. So let's also do the same for the third frame also. So let me select this and select all and group the all the elements within your frame. Now we have a frame, all the elements inside the frame as a group. We can start install the plugin. So just right click and, and select the plugins and click on manage plugins. So let me right click and select plugins and select manage plugins and type teleport has so this is the plugin now. So let's select there and click on run now. It will open up your pop-up like. So just give a few minutes now. Here you can see it automatically detects the frame 3. So let me close this and reopen it from the fresh. So now I have cancelled the plugin. So before you select the plugin again, just select all the frames by clicking Ctrl plus A. So let me select all the frames now. Ctrl plus A. Now right click and select plugins. Here you can see we have the teleport HQ. Select that plugin now. Here you can see it open up the plugin and it selects all the three frames. Here you can see we have the login page, sign up, and the forgot password page. And it can see that it gives us the rating bad auto layout ratings. So we will leave this as default. We don't want to change anything. So you can see that we have these two op uh, options. Either we can copy these objects to the clipboard or we can export this as a new project. We're gonna select the export this as a new project. Uh, click on the second option. You can see that we get a message like all the elements were successfully copied. This will open up a new page. Just give you a few minutes now. First, we need to create account on this teleport. We can sign in using the Google or we can sign up with the GitHub. So I will recommend you to sign up with the Google. So let me select the sign up with Google and let me select my Google account. I choose my primary email now. Here you can see it's importing the projects that we have done in the Figma. Just give you a few minutes. So after the login, the dashboard will look similar to this. Here you can see we have the project that we have created in the Figma. So let's select this login design. Just double click on that. It will open up this in a new page. Here you can see it starts opening this uh, Figma design into this Teleport HQ. First it will display a tutorial video. Let me close the tutorial video. Here you can see this is our design now. Here if you want to change anything, you can directly do that from here. So let me zoom out. A little bit here, you can see we have all the three screens forgot password, login screen, and the sign up. So, let me choose the sign up here. This is the sign up design. So, if we click on the login screen, so let me select the login screen now. Before we do that, let's try to center the sign up. So, just double click on the run, drag, and drop and center it. Sign up. So, let's also do this for the login also. So, let me center this. Let's also do the for the forgot password. Let's center this now. So this is our design. If you want to change anything, you can directly do this in the Teleport HQ itself. Let's try to preview this page you now. Here at the top corner, you can see that we have an option called the preview. Let's select this now. It will open up the preview in the new tab. Here you can see this is the preview of the forward password page. We have three pages. This is the one of the pages. So let me try to preview the login screen. So select the login screen and click on the preview button. So this is the preview of the login page. So let me zoom out. So this is how the login page will look like. Once you check everything is fine and if there are any mistakes, you can directly correct the errors in this design itself. Once you uh, know that the designs are properly aligned and the, you change everything, we can get the code now. Here at the top, uh, right hand side, you can see an option called the code. Click on that. So this is just a pop-up message, just cancel this. Here you can see we have 10 uh, times we can download the codes. You can see that we have, uh, you have 10 remaining views or codes download. You can download this code for the 10 times. After it expires, you can just uh, 
creating new account with the thumbnail. So this is a just small hack that you can use once the 10 downloads of uh, user up. So you, if you want to view the code, select the view code. Here you can see this is the code for the React. So if you open the source file, we have the index file. And if you open the views, we have the forward password page. And we have the, here you can see we have the index file. So this is, if you want to export this as a React, you can download this. But for the simplicity of this tutorial, we're gonna download this code as a HTML CSS. So select, change the language to the HTML now. Or it will change the code for the HTML. Here you can see this is just a raw HTML and the CSS. We have this, uh, all the pages now here you can see we have the forward password page and we have the index file and we also have the uh, sign up page so if you want to download that uh, select the download option here if you want to download this as a react select the react and click on download zip so let's press the react and download zip here you can see it's downloaded file as a react now login design react is our file name so let me save this in the desktop but if you want to download the just the HTML and CSS here, you can see select the HTML, click on the HTML and select the download as a zip. So let me do that now. Select the HTML and click on this download zip. It will download this file as a HTML and CSS file. Here you can see down login this is HTML. So let me save this uh, to the desktop also. Now you can see that both the zip file has been downloaded successfully. We can uh, download the HTML file as well as the React file. So if you want to change anything, you can directly change into this in itself. For example, if you want to change the text, just double click and edit the text. Here you can see we can able to edit the text here. Similarly, if you want to change the style, text style, you can see that we can change the boldness. We have all the options that we have in the Figma. You can see that we have the padding, margin and everything that we have in the uh, Figma is also available on the Teleport HCQ. So this is a hack that we have a Adjusted all the things in this design, you can download this by clicking on the code tab and select your updated code. So let's try to view the co uh, code that we have downloaded now. So let me open that file now. Here you can see this is the file that we have downloaded. So let's create a folder now and inside that folder we can extract all the files. So let me create a folder now. This will be HTML demo. Let me drag and drop that HTML zip file into this folder. Let's open that folder now. So let's select the zip file and right click and extract all the files here. Here you can see we successfully extracted all the files here. Let's double click the index file and open this in the browser. Here you can see we have successfully converted the Figma design into one website. This is the website that we got from the Figma design. You can see that the design is uh, mostly identical. All the designs are preserved from the Figma file. If you want to view the source code of this, let me open this in the Visual uh, Sublime Text Editor. So let me select the project and select Add Folder to this current project. So let's open up the folder now. This is the folder. Select Project and click on Add Project Folder. So let's select the folder now. Desktop and this will be HTML demo. Here we consider this is the code for the index.html file. So if you want to try to change something, here you can see, let's try to change this login now. So this will be, so let me randomly add a new three. Let's save that file and if you click on the refresh, now the login has been updated with the text that we have done now. Similarly, if you want to change something here also, let's for the login, I'm going to replace this with the sign in. So let's save this and go to the browser and click on refresh. Here you can see now the login has been replaced with the sign in. So this is how you get a, a code for the Figma design. Here you can see we have a forward password page also. Let's open this in the file explorer. So if you go to the file explorer, let's try to open the forward password page. So the, this is the page that we got for the forward password. You can see that the design is also accurate here. Let's try to change something in the forward password now. So this is the code for the forward password. This is forward password that has HTML. Let's try to change. So let's try to change this to sign up also. This will be signing. Now if you go to the browser and click on refresh, you can see that now the login has been replaced with the signing. So let's try to open the 
uh, sign up page so let me open up this sign up page now so this is the design that we got for the sign up page so this design is accurately uh, converted to, to the code rather than the other two designs that we have seen here consider margin is also converted to the code and we also have the texture you can see that this uh, third frame is accurately converted to the code that according to me so let me change the title now this will be sign up page so let's also change something in the body of the file so this will be here sign up page now so let's save that and click on the refresh you can see that here sign up so this is it this is how you convert your figma file to one html csr for free with the help of the teleport hcq uh, teleport hcq currently provides only the 10 times that you can download the source code after the 10 times expire you can create a temporary mail and you can log in using their mail to create a new teleport account and you can download this for unlimited so this is how you convert your figma design to an html css for free so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one